Okay, welcome to uh, Wheatley Park and me reflecting in my yoga's screen. And I'm going to turn this Chromebook on. Yeah, that's it. And this particular Chromebook is in an OU where it allows private accounts at timed <laughs> periods. And I've just signed in and it's gone four o'clock in the afternoon. And this particular device allows private accounts after four o'clock in the afternoon until six o'clock the following morning, during weekdays and all the time at weekends. But you'll notice that what do I get? Um, I just get my school account. If I go to add person, it's still only allowing me to sign in with a weekly park account. So what I have to do is first of all sign in with my school account and then sign out. So let me just do Okay, so it's just signing out of my school account. And as I signed out of my school account, you'll see magically my private account appears. And down here, I've got browse as a guest. If I then turn the device off, I'll be back to just my school account. So to get access to private accounts and to guest mode, you have to first sign in with a managed account. Okay? doesn't just let anybody sign in. So, for example, I can now add a person and there's no sign-in restrictions at this point. I can also browse as a guest and I can sign in with my private account. If I just sign in with my private account and I'll show you one feature with my private account on a managed Chromebook that's got sign-in restrictions during normal school hours. So if I click down here, what you've got is session ends in 14 hours so that's six o'clock tomorrow morning and um, i'll be booted off at that point and the ability to use private accounts will vanish so what we've done is given this as an option for parents who have bought devices through the school and so far we've had a really quite a high take up on that option obviously they would like to be able to use the device and probably the students want to use um, private accounts so they can play I don't know, games and things if they want to, or use it with just their private account. So if I click on sign out here, just to illustrate the uh, other part of this. So I've still got my name there, if I click on shut down now, and then if I restart the device, You'll notice no private accounts, they've vanished. I have to sign in with my school account and then sign out again. So that's what it looks like. And I think it's probably a game changer for one-to-one -one deployments where you're expecting parents to buy a device or contribute to the cost of a device.